hi welcome back to our tutorial building social networking app full stack development in the previous tutorial we create a new react app and here it is in this tutorial we will create our first component okay so here we need a css file for our social app dossier and below this video you will find a link to the repository of this project and inside this you will find the social app the CSS so it only social app the CSS inside this repository so once we finish we will upload the files for the project so for now let download this click on the social app do css this is the css for the whole app then download so here it is now let go show in folder and here is our file okay we just need to drag it into our source folder here we are inside the source folder and here it is so in each component we will render we may have a class name that corresponds to the social app do css and we need it to render with the look or with the style so to do this we just need to call the social app do css inside the index.js okay now let me save this changes that we just have okay so show up CSS inside the index.js we need to import the social app CSS okay so show app dot css okay this is the file we import it this way okay then we save the project okay now the next thing we will do we will create our first component as i said so let's create a new folder called component and inside this folder we will have all our component okay let's have this folder component inside the source file on inside the source folder and we will create our first component called post js okay so now Go to the extension and search for react code snippet it will help us generate code faster and here it is i already installed it when you search for it in the extension you just need to install it okay now let's go back to our post component that we just create and using the cc we will create a class component as you see okay here is the class component this class we don't need the state okay we only need the render method and it will return some HTML element and let's have a div here but before then let's give the class a name post and we will be export this post okay so let's have our face component here inside div i explain what is jsx in the previous lesson okay so inside this we will have face h2 and 
we will pass a prop this dot props the user this expect a user we will pass the prop to this class in another class maybe we will call it inside the post box or inside the app.jss once we call this class we will remember that we have to pass the user okay the next thing we will do is the we need a p element and this dot props dot content okay so this is our face component and that face let import the this component for the react okay import react on component okay now we are safe now we need to call this post and pass the value of the user and content then try to render this okay so before let's create another post box because inside the post box we may have a lot of these posts okay so let's create new file inside the component post box this will contain all the posts that we will have postbox.js okay and this will also we will generate it like this and call this post box as simple as this and we don't need this state for now here let's save this and here we have the we have to copy the component import statement okay so here we will call our post box now we need to our post inside the post box so we need to import the post okay you see it imported we import the post so we will use it here okay so first let's have a div a div and this div will be you will pass the class name in normal HTML we just use a class like this to represent a class and in the react we use this class name and we will pass is to post this post is inside our index dot it's inside our social app dot css okay now let's call the post and inside this we need to pass the props that we have inside the post as you can see we have user and content okay so we need to have user here equal to then we pass the value of user okay so here let me say the user is aliu sahabu adam and then we will pass the content as 
let's say it high group okay now inside the post box we have this post let me duplicate this so and i will change this name to yasil yusuf and i will just leave the content as high group okay this is what we have to have this rendered we need to call it inside the app.js so now inside the app.js we will call the post box okay but we have to delete this and we just need a div here I will change this to container okay then followed by h1 and the h1 I will pass social I will have social app okay so now we will call our post box so we need to import the post box as well here okay now you see it is imported and it is inside the component dot post box that is the directory and all we need to do is post box okay now when we save this we will have the post box rendered in the view now let's check you see we have the post box and with the name aliyu sahabu and we also have the content high group as well as yasir yusuf also with the content high group okay now we tested our component and the css file works fine and here it provided the color as expected in the css file and how it looked like so the next thing we will have to fetch the data of the post from the database and here is where we will introduce a redox to you we will also introduce Axios HTTP for making REST API call to the Spring Boot. So this is what we will going to do next. See you in the next video.